What is up YouTube? It's your boy Terrell Pam come back at you once again. And today we're talking about the TLC pay-per-view. We're gonna give my thoughts on it. We're probably not gonna really go in depth on a lot of these matches. Or you know, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on certain shit. Anyway, tables, ladders, and chairs. Last night live on WWE Network for only $9.99. We start off, well, fuck the kickoff shit. We start off the real TLC pay-per-view with the, a ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship. Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler versus Luke fucking Harper. This is probably the match that stole the show in my mind just because there were so many fucking awesome spots. I don't, I don't know. It, it was definitely up there. I, it, it was definitely one of the best fucking matches. Fucking lots of extreme brutality, lots of badass bombs, lots of fucking just ladder carnage, bruh. Fucking both dudes were were fucking bleeding in some form or fashion when the match was over. All bruised up on their body. You gotta give it up for them for going out there and putting their bodies on the line to entertain us. That was a highly... You know, the match was just awesome, I thought. Anytime I get to see weapons in a wrestling match, I'm pretty happy. I've always been into the more hardcore wrestling and everything. I guess that's one reason why I don't like this so-called PG era. Because you don't see enough of this shit. And when you do see such shit like this it's at these special pay-per-views, like, oh, Hell in a Cell, blah, 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 we have one Hell in a Cell match a year, some shit like that, you know? But, alright, so, Dolph Ziggler ends up winning and retaining his championship. Wasn't that his hometown as well? When he super kicked Harper off the ladder and he grabbed the title. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, fucking just awesome shit. My cat's in the background. You hear her? Don't, don't, you know, don't pay her no attention. Anyway, so next up, we have the tag team championship match. Usos versus... The Miz and Miz Dow. <laughs> fucking Usos ended up winning, but due to this qualification, because Miz used fucking his Slammy Award or whatever. But it, 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 again, I, this shit's entertaining. I'm still, I'm still fucking laughing. I'm still enter entertained by Miz Dow. So anytime I get to see him in the ring doing fucking the Miz's stunts or whatever, or just you know, man, fucking. What the fuck is that word I'm looking for? Oh, what the fuck ever. But anyway, anytime I get to see him in the ring, I still think it's pretty cool. He's fucking, it's funny. I'm still enjoying it for now, so yeah. I'm not really going to say anything else about that match, because it's fucking whatever. Stairs match, big show. Eric rolling, rallying, whatever. Um, had some good spots. Two big men. Dave's going at it pretty fast, too. They could have slowed down the pace a little bit, maybe. Um... I didn't really like the the ending. I don't know. I might have to go back and rewatch it. But like he pinned him with he hit him with a punch and he put the ring steps on top of him for the pin. Was his arms under the step? Because I don't think so, right? Because if his arms was under, he could just easily you know lift up a shoulder, right? Just boom, blah. Doesn't matter because the stairs were on his fucking abdominal fucking area. So I, I didn't really like that ending. I get what they was trying to go for. Yeah, you know this motherfucker is such a beast that you know Big Show has to use stairs to pin the fucker or whatever. But, eh, I don't know, I, I didn't really like the ending too much. Now, to fucking pretty much everybody's surprise, because I think everybody thought this was going to go on as the main event, we have John Cena taking on Seth Rollins. Um, so yeah, if, if Cena lost, he would no longer be the number one contender for WWE World Heavyweight Championship. They're going against fucking Brock, right? And that's what I was hoping for, because as much as I love Brock... I don't need to see him and Cena take it on, get on again, get it on again, whatever. Like, has he actually fought anybody different since he came back this time? Like, legitly. Like, I know, like, he's had, like, a few hit incidents here, like, you know, rolling stomping on up his head or whatever. Anyway, they had some good spots. It was pretty cool. A few different table bumps and shit with J&J security as well. You had like the double, the, the, the yeah, actually, yeah, you actually had a double attitude adjustment through a table. That was JJ security. You had an attitude adjustment off the top rope or middle rope with the, with the eight fucking, um, the referee was knocked out, blah, blah. Then both men ended up going through a goddamn table. That was kind of stupid. They should just fucking, the ref should just got up and like, what the fuck? And not even like ring the bell and had the other two referees came out there because I saw that coming a mile away what they was doing with that, which, because they've done it plenty of other times with two ever other referees come out and say, No, he won. No, he won. No, he won. Fuck it, restart the match. Um, so, anyway, match restarts. Big Show ends up interfering, taking out Cena, or tries to take out Cena, all that shit, blah, blah. But surprise, surprise, Roman Reigns makes his return and saves the fucking day, right? His super punch, Show, Rollins, 
and Cena, yeah, put Rollins through a table for the with the with the attitude adjustment, right? So, because of Roman Reigns, John Cena is now the number one contender for the goddamn title. I would rather see somebody else in that goddamn match, Rollins, Orton, any fucking body. But I do understand this is setting up for Reigns and Rollins to go at it now. God, they need fucking all these R names. So at least they'll go set up for this, and we'll maybe like that was it Royal Rumble's next pay per view, most likely, right? Yeah, probably then we'll get to see them two go at it. Definitely gonna be interesting to see what plays out tonight, whatever. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, uh, hold on one second. Alright, so, uh, next we have the Diva Championship. Match, whatever. Uh, pre Bella distracted referee. Fucking, and Nikki sprayed some fucking, like, some hairspray or some shit in her face or whatever. Then she hit that rack attack and got the fucking one, two, three. Whatever. It's fucking whatever. It's a D's division. I'm happy to see these sexy ass ladies in the fucking ring, so I, I, I'm good, son. <laughs> Next, we got chairs match. Fucking Ryback versus Kane. There were some pretty good spots in here. The motherfuckers again putting their fucking bodies on the line, like. Kane's back definitely looked like it got pretty fucked up. But, uh, Rob back ended up winning. Whatever. Eh. Another match. United States Championship. Jack Swagger versus fucking Rusev. And, yeah. Swagger lost again. Like he's done all these other matches. What, what, what made any... Nobody believed he was going to win that fucking match. He already had him lose so many different times. It's a regular one-on-one -on -one match, right? It, it, like, maybe he would have a chance, and maybe would have out there for him to put it like a notice qualification or some shit, but no. Um, Lana, Lana, have you seen her name, actually posted a picture on Twitter that got deleted real quickly. It was a picture of the European Championship. I could well, this was what was going around the internet anyway. Hey, and if that's true, fucking right. Because I can see that happening, like, oh, we don't want your puny American title, putui, and fucking, that's like some Iron Sheik shit. <laughs> But they didn't, they bring in the European one. I can see that fucking happening. But yeah, whatever. So TLC, the final match is the TLC match. Bray Wyatt versus Dean Ambrose. Definitely a good match. There's some awesome spots here, fucking there. Just like, motherfucker jumping off the ladder. Elbow through a table. Do it again. I think he jumped off, well, did like the ladder, what, three times? Three, three different tables. He announced his table or whatever. Good spots. Good shit. But Bray Wyatt ended up picking up the win after he hit the sister. Well, he hit with the sister Abigail after fucking Ambrose tried to hit him with a goddamn TV that was plugged in, right? And he pulled it, and the TV fucking exploded. Now that sounds dumb as shit, right? It does. A lot of people weren't satisfied with that ending. I would say that. I wasn't a big fan of it, but at the same time, I didn't dislike it, just because it's a spot you haven't seen before, really, you know, we, we, we've seen shit like that happen, happen, but not exactly just like that, you guys understand, everything in wrestling has been done once or another, so most fucking shit when you're a fan like me, you see coming, and when he put the, with the monitor in the ring and started looking at it, like, I figured he was going to use it, but I didn't see, I didn't, I didn't, did like, I, I, I wasn't getting, I, I didn't think that he was going to, the motherfucker was going to explode on the motherfucker, you know? So, hey, yeah, mind me, me and words do not mince up well, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely wasn't thinking that was going to happen, so when that happened, I was like, oh, oh, really? Then yeah, I seen some people on Twitter just fucking hate that angle, which yeah, kind of, kind of was stupid, because we, come on, bro, you're doing this big TLC match, Bray and fucking Ambrose. Let them fuckers go at it. Let it end with a really OMG moment. Fucking six tables stacked up outside, and he hits the fucking sister Abigail from the top of the table. But misses all six tables, and both of them break their necks some shit. I don't know. Not that fucking thing. But you know, it could have been a better OMG moment to end that fucking match. The match of the night, Bray versus Ambrose. I really enjoy that they put these motherfuckers on last. They deserve to go last. The future is now. <laughs> That's what, if you see that shit fucking here, yeah, whatever. But yeah. My thoughts overall, pretty good pay per view. Uh, I haven't actually like enjoyed a whole pay per view like this in a while. I guess because there's a lot of gimmick matches, and I like these fucking gimmick hardcore matches and shit. But yeah, 
I guess go ahead and like, you know, leave your thoughts about that shit in the comments. As always, hope you guys enjoy this. And me, I am out this bitch. Later, people. Motherfucker, now I'm here. What up, world? Legs in the sky when I'm up in your girl. Never said that I was a winner. I was more like a sinner who would cheat for a dinner in the middle of the winter. If it meant I could get him with summer, my bad. I'm just trying to be me. Hope y'all see when you see me on the TV over city. And I'm nice like a heater because I write like a minute. I ain't trying to be a heater, but I flow like a heater. And can see it and see me in hell. Me, I mean well. Get it? Water? Otter, blood of the son and the love of the father. Hey, 